Today, I want to talk about simply how it is so important for our, us to tell the truth to ourselves and to surround ourselves with people who are truth tellers, um, especially those who are the closest in your lives. Um, I have been fortunate enough to, although it's been, I cannot say it's always been easy to be able to listen to the truth, but um, I have forced myself <laughs> To be around some amazing, amazing truth tellers, um, one including my husband, um, also women in my life. My mother is a great example of a woman who is going to tell me the truth uh, no matter what. And I appreciate that wisdom and that counsel because it is how we grow in our femininity, in our divineness, in our goddess-like energy. That's the way we grow is by truth is to cut off the things that need to be pruned so that we are able to grow and flourish, you know? I don't know if you are a plant lady, um, taking care of your plants is like such a big deal because you have to wash them, but you also have to prune them when they need it. I had to prune a couple of my plants this evening um, simply because they might have a dying leaf and that might be, you know, dying leaves suck the energy from the rest of the plant. Um, or they might just need to be cut back so that it can grow even more. But that same concept is applied to us. We have to be cut, you know, and the truth hurts, you know. Um, we have to have those things cut from us um, by and take, taking in the truth and doing that pruning our, ourselves so that we can rise and, and flourish and thrive. Um, my mom was a truth, is, is was it, and is a truth teller. Um, I, when I was a young girl, she would let me know how things were. Um, <laughs> I remember when I was a teenager and she, I, I was concerned about a particular um, youth pastor that I was with, um, that I was around, I was underneath. Uh, because he did something weird uh, to me since I was young um, with his wife. Like, I was like, I don't want this man. I don't know why this is being done. She had to explain to me, um, you know, just like how marriages had to cover themselves and how husbands and wives had to do so. Um, and I just, I needed to hear that truth so that I could then apply it to my life as I got older and I could realize the way the world works. I wasn't a kid anymore and I needed to, certain things needed to, needed to be navigated, you know, because of that. Oh, um, I, I remember specifically one of my, I, I want to say my big sister, okay? Uh, I remember one time, go forward a few years, I, I came in a job and I looked a mess and she's, but she straight up told me, Adrian, you look like shit. Okay. Uh, and I was like, I can't believe she told me that. But it was something I needed to hear because do you think I've ever come out the house looking like shit again? I have not, especially after work. <laughs> that was my only for life after that. Like, she meant me nothing but goodness. Okay. Truth tellers. Um, my husband, he's the biggest truth teller of them all. Recently, about, I want to say a couple, no, maybe last year. It was last year. Um, we were watching some things, and he, I don't know, we were just talking about, like, weight and stuff. And I was like, oh, I, look, I look pretty good. Like, I had five kids at the time. I didn't have six yet. I was like, I got five kids. Like, I look great. And I had a pudge. I had a little full face and stuff. And um, he was like, but you could look better. And I did hear that, and it kind of like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? Like, all these things do that, Ugh us in the heart a little bit and um because I always heard you know you look great which I did for the five kids but could I have lived, looked better yes and, th and that turned into a whole di that turned to a whole thing and I and I rarely tell anyone that my husband did say that because it comes up like oh my god he said it to you he did and you know that made me better that made me push harder. That made me grow in an area that I didn't know I could grow in simply because, simply because he was truthful with me. Um, I love working out. I get my energy. Like if my energy is low, I can go straight to working out, which I would have despised earlier, but I knew it was imperative to achieve the results I wanted to achieve. Um, and yeah, I'm in, I'm in the best shape of my life I've ever been from birth. Okay. Um, and that's all because truth was told around me. 
It's important to surround yourself with truth when you want to grow in that feminine space, when you want to grow in any space. But being feminine is being able to hear that, being able to prune your plant like self, which is all feminine energy plants, and grow and flourish as you are meant to be in your femininity. Um, it's amazing to be in this life and to be in your space of truth. You know, you will, it will hurt. It will hurt. You will, you might regret at first, but then you will realize that everything led up to this point and that you can do nothing but go up from here. And, um, if you so choose, you could go down, <laughs> but if you so choose, you can do nothing but go up. And if that is your choice, then walk in that truth. Be able to accept where you are lacking so that you can grow in those areas and thrive.